Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. So I just woke up and the Fossil Island update has just dropped. Look at all the people here. Uh, so I thought I'd do a tutorial for how to get there because there is a quest called the Bone Voyage quest that needs to be done in order uh, to get there. So I just noticed right off the bat there's 225 kudos available now. I have 148. Uh, so here are the requirements. So to start off you will need 100 kudos to uh, start the quest as well as the dig site quest completed. As far as items, you're going to just need two vodkas and a unfinished marital potion, um, which is these two right here. Uh, apparently, when the game first came out, there's a huge vodka shortage, which is kind of funny. Now, as far as teleports, I'm going to be bringing three dig site teleports, a skills necklace, a Xerox talisman would be ideal, but I'm just going to bring a house teleport because you need to go to Zaya and uh, an amulet of glory, as well as uh, my explorer's ring to go to Port Sarim. Alright guys, so let's get started. So to start the quest, uh, you're going to first need to speak to Curator uh, Hag Valen, or however you say his name, Hag Halen, that would probably be it. And uh, so he's just around here somewhere, he's the guy in the black suit. Uh, so we're just going to talk to him and ask if he has any interesting news. Uh, skip through the dialogue, and uh, you're going to come to an option and just say sign me up. And that's it, quest started. Uh, and now we're going to go ahead and speak to the foreman operator and the barge operator. Okay, so where we have headed is just to the north of the dig site. Now I just teleported here with a dig site teleport scroll and ran up. Uh, there's this new barge up here and we're going to talk to the barge foreman. Uh, just skip through the dialogue a bit here. But essentially he's just asking us to go talk to the sawmill operator in uh, Varrock as well as Zaya. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go talk to the uh, sawmill operator in Varrock. So I just ran up here because it's reasonably close. Uh, so talk to the sawmill operator just north of Varrock and say I'm here on behalf of the museum archaeology team and just skip through the dialogue and he's going to give you a piece of paper to go bring to the woodcutting guild. So while you can teleport to Zaya with a house teleport or a Xerox talisman, uh, the easiest way is actually just to teleport to the woodcutting guild uh, if you haven't unlocked Zaya yet, you have to go to the Port Sarim docks and go there manually once, then you should be able to teleport there. So at the Woodcutting Guild, just click on the gate and uh, the guy in a Robin Hood hat looks like uh, will start talking to you and he will exchange the note for you. So you do not actually need 60 woodcutting to go in, which is good. So you're going to head back to the Sawmill Operator and inquire about the quest again and he'll go ahead and exchange uh, the note for you. And that's it. Now you have to go back and talk to the Barge Foreman. So once you're here, talk to the barge foreman, and he'll allow you to enter the barge now. Once you have access to the barge, you just right click on the barge guard, and you can hit board uh, barge, or you can just talk to him, and he'll let you on. Now you're looking for the senior uh, sailor. So you're going to talk to the lead navigator, I should say. And you're going to say, yep, that would be me. Uh, continue on with the text, and you'll pretty much realize that he's kind of superstitious. So ask and know what happened. And now he's going to go on for quite a while uh, talking about how the voyage is cursed. And he's going to want some uh, more experienced sailors to come with us uh, to actually do the voyage. And that is going to pretty much require us to go to Port Sarim and talk to another sailor. Okay, so next up we need to go to the uh, Port Sarim pub. And now this is just a little bit south of the Explorer Ring teleport. But you can also go from Falador if you want as well. Uh, we're going to talk to Longbow Ben and ask him if he's ever made a cursed voyage before. Essentially, he's going to tell us to get a lucky charm as well as a potion of sea legs or something like that. And uh, at this point, just keep talking to him. Uh, you don't need to read which one because you do need to get them both anyway. Uh, so just skip through the conversation. I don't think it's anything more important to say after that. Okay, we should be reaching the end of the conversation soon. This guy talks a lot, and there we go. And now we're going to go back to the barge. Okay, so we're back at the barge, and we're going to talk to the lead navigator once again. And he's essentially just going to say he wants uh, the charm, but the junior navigator wants the uh, potion of sea legs. So you need to get them both, uh, but that's pretty much all they have to say. Then you're just going to skip through to the end of this conversation as well. So to get the uh, bone charm, you just need to go a little bit north of the barge and talk to the old man here and say talk about the lucky charm. And now you're just going to skip through the dialogue. And you need to select actually I'm making a cursed voyage. I accidentally selected the wrong one at first. Uh, but select that second one down and he'll give you the bone charm for free. You don't need to give him anything else. And he'll just give it to the inventory. 
Perfect. So now after you've done that, you need to teleport to Varrock and go to the Apothecary. So once you're in Varrock, uh, it's just a little bit south of the West Varrock Bank. And you're just going to go into the Apothecary and talk uh, to the guy with the afro there. And say you need to talk about something else at the bottom. And then you're going to talk about Bone Voyage. Uh, now skip through the text. He's going to say for the Potion of Sea Legs, you're going to need two vodkas and an unfinished Marantel Potion. Uh, which you should already have in your inventory. Once you're done talking, talk to him once again. Go down to the bottom, talk about something else, and talk about the Bowen Voyage. And then he will give you the Potion of Sea Legs. And there you go. Now you just have to head back to the Barge Operator again. Okay, so we're back at the Barge with both of the Lucky Charms. And we're going to talk to the Lead Navigator and give him the Potion. I guess he wants Potion, whatever. And now you're going to talk to the Junior Navigator and give him the Bone Charm. And once you've given it to him, you can now complete the last part of the quest, which is actually sailing there. Okay, so I actually failed this the first time, so this is my second attempt. And uh, now what I've figured out is that it's kind of easiest to just put it on max. And essentially what you have to do is just keep the arrow straight by going left and right to account for uh, your ship going off course. So all I did was max out my speed by hitting the top arrow there. And you really have to spam click these arrows because they do not update very quickly. Uh, so as soon as you see it moving, spam click it the other direction and try to keep it even and your progress will slowly go up. It's a little frustrating because it's not very user friendly at all, but you'll get the hang of it eventually and see like my progress is going down already. And the arrow just really doesn't seem to update that much, uh, but really just keep clicking on it and keep trying to keep it straight and eventually you'll get it and we'll get to Fossil Island. So it always seems to be going left and then right, so you can kind of predict right when it's about to happen. Uh, so you just kind of wait and then just click on the left arrow again even though it hasn't moved yet. That didn't really work. Uh, well, we failed at this point last time so we're already doing better. Perfect. There we are. We are now on Fossil Island and there's the quest complete. You get one quest point and access to Fossil Island. Uh, so a really easy quest but I thought I would make a quest guide because I really want to make some content for Fossil Island. And I won't be able to until later tonight. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed my quest guide and I'll see you in the next video.